Hello, so today we're talking about New Year's resolutions and we all make them and I'm no exception, but you know, how do they work out? And uh, it's the February the 1st today, so an opportune moment to review them. It was a month ago. So the thing that I want to talk to you about is that you've got 11 more months to go to fulfill all of those resolutions. But my guess is most of them no longer exist. The long forgotten along with Christmas and New Year's and you're into the grind of the year and the usual problems arise. So the weight loss goals that you had, the fact that you're going to make it your year has long, long disappeared and you've forgotten about them. Why does that happen? Because my guess is it's not the first time you make New Year's resolutions and it's not the first time that you've lost them, right? That you've given up two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever it is. Why do we do it? Well, number one is they're just wishes, really. They're vague and, you know, we just hope that these things are going to happen. And nothing much goes on beyond that. And that's all that goes on. We haven't really thought about them. It's a fashionable thing to do. And we ask each other, don't we? What's your New Year's resolution? Well, how about instead of having this nonsense of ideas about I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. It's my year and this is what's going to happen. How about if you had two or three actual goals? You can call call them resolutions. But how about calling it New Year's revolution, that you're going to revolutionise your life in some way, right? That might be a weight goal. So if it's a weight goal, tell yourself what you're going to weigh at the end of the year. How much in pounds and stones and kilos, whatever you work in, how much weight you're going to lose this year. Okay, so be definite about your outcome. If it's a case of making money, how much money are you going to make on a monthly basis or by the end of the year? And if you go to the yearly figure, so you think I'm going to lose 10 kilos in weight this year, I hope not, but let's say that's your target, then decide how much weight you've got to lose on a monthly and a weekly basis. And that way you'll get to your target because you can't get to November and suddenly drop 10 kilos. So that's another way of measuring your success. So if you're on to off target, then you can measure. So let me share something with you today. So my goal or one of my goals this year was to have 30,000 followers on my LinkedIn account. So a year ago, we had about 2000. And I decided that in about October of last year that this is what I wanted to do. So we started working on those. And if you follow me on LinkedIn, one of the things you'll see is that I had 10,000 followers on uh, 1st of December last year. So I thought, right, we're on target for this. And what can we do? So today, 1st of February, we hit 13,000. So that means 7,000 to go to 20,000 and 17,000 to go to the full 30,000. So what's been happening? Well, it's accelerating. So we've hit 3,000 followers in the last two months. So 1,500 a month gives you 18,000 over a year, right? So what do we need? We need 17,000, but we've only got 11 months to go. So that's what we're monitoring. So that's one of my goals. We broke it down into figures that we wanted to achieve. So that's really what you want to be looking at. So today, for those of you that are interested, I'm uh, having a walk around our offices. It's a beautiful day. It's the first time of the year that we've been out, but it's the 1st of February. So if you've got some goals that you haven't achieved, you've still got 11 months to go. So maybe you lost it in terms of what you did on the 1st of January. Today is another chance, right? Reset your goals, reset everything. We've only lost 31 days so far. Still got 330 something days to go to the end of the year. So we can really make a difference. So go out there, go and do whatever you need to do. Have an amazing day. I'll see you again.